Good morning! Good morning! I want to welcome you guys today to this month's Faith at Home video and we are talking about a really cool guy in the Old Testament and his name is Noah. Noah? Yes, Noah. And Noah was asked by God to do something absolutely amazing. And he, he didn't really feel like he was good enough to do it, but God used him in an incredible way. So we are going to hear stories, stories, and we're going to make some boats today. Yeah. And we're going to pray to the amazing God that used Noah in such an incredible way. And if he was able to use Noah, then he is able to use you at home too. Isn't that cool? Yeah, really cool. Shall we get started, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on then, let's go. Well, hello. Why don't you come and sit by the screen? We've got a wonderful story today. I wonder if any of you can guess what the story is called and who it's about. No, that's not quite right. No, it's not about a silly man in a silly hat. How about you? Have you? I'll give you a clue. It's one of Samuel's children. No, not Isaac. Noah. Absolutely right. Well done, you. Well, I'm going to tell Noah's story. It's a great story. So listen up and try and keep still if you can. I like water as much as the next person. It tastes good. It can be really refreshing on a hot day. And of course, it keeps my green plants and my body nice and clean. But man, oh man, there was a time when I had way, way, way too much water in my life. You see, God told me he wasn't very happy. In fact, he was very, very unhappy. The people of the world at that time had become, well, really naughty. Actually, to be honest, they were worse than naughty. They were downright awful. They were violent and wicked. And frankly, God had had enough. So God told me I was to build a boat. A boat, I asked. I, I don't even near, live near the water. I'll take care of that, God says to me. I'm going to destroy every living thing on earth. But since you're a good man, Noah, I'm going to save you and your family. God didn't have to tell me twice. I got busy on the boat straight away. My three sons, Shem, Ham and Japheth, well, they all mucked in and helped too. It was a huge boat, big enough to be the biggest zoo in the history of ever. God wanted me to bring along two of every kind of animal and bird, as well as enough food to feed them, and of course my own family. We left the fish behind. Well, they don't mind a little extra water, do they? Then it rained hard, and it didn't stop for 40 days and 40 nights. When the storm was over, the entire planet was flooded. Eventually, the water began to drop and finally the boat that we were in came to rest on a mountain. 
we had floated around for more than a year. It just felt so good to get out of the boat and to stretch our legs on dry land again. But what felt even better was knowing that God had given the world a second chance. Even though God wanted to start over, God still loved us. Now my family can rebuild our world and honour God in all that we do. God gave us a big second chance. So that's me, Noah, a family man, a boat builder, a zookeeper, and most importantly, a true friend of God. You might think I've had enough water in my life, but God made water to, to do lots of good things too. Water gives life to all living things. God likes that too. God can clean all the bad stuff out of our lives and God fills our lives with plenty of good stuff too. And God made a promise to never flood the earth again. The rainbow is a sign of that promise and it reminds us that God loves us and he always, always gives us a second chance. I wonder if you've ever been given a second chance. How did it make you feel to put your mistakes behind you and to start all over again. Okay, so it is time for our craft and just like Noah was asked to build an ark, we are going to build a boat this morning and we are gonna use some paper. So I've got my water here if I put the paper on the water like this. Ooh, it floats, look at that. Now over time it will get quite soggy, but we're gonna leave it there because we've seen that paper does actually float. So now we can do something even better with it. We are going to use a um, paper folding technique called origami and we're gonna make some really cool boats and this is how we're going to do it. So I've got lots of paper here because actually it has taken me quite a lot of practice but this is what we're going to end up with and look how cool that is. Right, so let's start. We are going to have our bit of paper like this and we're going to fold from the top to the bottom like that and then we're going to fold it in half from right to left so that we've got the fold on the top and the right side. Then we're gonna open it out again so that we've got this crease in the middle and then we have this fold along the top. We're gonna to bring both sides into the middle. Like that, so it looks like a tower. And then we're gonna bring both bottom parts, like this, up. I'm going to try that side and then do the other side. Now, really cool thing is if you get to this stage, this is a paper hat. So we, we've, got, we've got a cool thing already, but we, oops, we're going to go a little bit further because we're going to create a boat out of this. So what you need to do now is open it up again like that. And we've got our crease and then each corner, we're going to fold in to the line and then the other side into the line and then we're going to fold them back up again and we've got this so it's a triangle. When we've got to this stage we're going to look inside it like this and we're going to push it down to and bring these bits up 
We are so close now, guys. You're doing really well. Turn it over and do the other side. So now we've got it like this. So even smaller triangle. Going to open up the inside again and squish it down. And then there should be two little sides like this. And we're going to pull them out. And there is your boat. How easy was that? Jokes, it's not that easy at all. I'm uh, expecting you to use a few more bits of paper before we get there, but you will. Then open it out in the middle a bit. And then you can just move it around however you want it to look. And there is your boat. How cool is that? Now, these are little boats, aren't they? So I think because Noah had a big boat, I want to try again with a bigger bit of paper and this time it will give you a chance to see it again. There we go. So we have a slightly bigger boat here. Look at that. Now, I reckon I can make an even bigger one than that, though. So, we have got our massive boat. Now, how cool is that? So, we've got our little boats here. And then we've made this massive one. Now you could maybe use some leftover wrapping paper. I've cut this out of a big lot of paper. Um, you can be as creative as you want with your boats. And I'd love to see some of the ones that you do at home. Also, you could design a boat. You could put different patterns on the outside. But another thing with Noah is he was building for a reason because God told him to and that it was going to carry lots and lots of animals and how many animals of its kind went into the boat? Two, that's right. Now we have a little animal here and we're going to test it because we put our paper in first, didn't we? And uh, well, I'm not sure if it's actually going to be able to <laughs> hold our animal. Uh oh. Our animal's going to have a real problem on this one because oh, it's already soggy and, uh-oh, well, it's just not working. But let's have a look with our other boats. We've got this one. Oh, oh I think our boat needs to be slightly bigger. Let's have a look with this one. Oh, quite, quite comfortable, quite comfortable. But let's have a look with our... Arc. <laughs> well, I think we could fit quite a lot more animals on that one. That's so cool. I have had so much fun with this craft. And you could make lots of boats and then test them out in the bar. Or you could put them, um, well, in the sink. Or we might try going down to the beach and testing them in the water, in the sea. But I hope you have enjoyed this week's craft or this month's craft and I will see you very soon.
And I'll show you by putting a rainbow in the sky How are you? I'm good, I'm good. It's really lovely to see you again. And you. And we're going to do some more praying today. I love praying. Good. So, if you take out your little sheet from the pack that you got yeah. this time, and if you have a look on this page, it's all about Noah, the story we've been looking at. And there's a lovely bit here to help us with praying today. So, if you listen up, I'm going to read this bit to you and then we'll think about praying, okay? Are you listening? Yeah, yeah, Good. yeah! Good. God loved making the world and all the people in it. But after a while, many of those people stopped caring about God. They wanted to do their own thing and ignore God completely. Uh -oh. They didn't listen to him at all. That's, that's not, not good, that's is not it? That's not good at all. But not me, said Noah. I listen to God, I love talking to him, and he talked to me. That's what we can do, isn't it, Ruth? That's so cool. So that's why God gave Noah's family a second chance. And God sent that huge flood to destroy everything in the world and saved Noah and his family wow. on that huge boat that's called an ark. So when we pray, we invite God to come into our lives and when the floods come, like they did to Noah and the ark, God is always there to help us through. Isn't that cool? So, is God with me too, Maggie? Absolutely he is, Ruth. Absolutely. So, this is the prayer I've got for us to read. But you could also write your own prayer here on the little sheet that's in your pack. But this is a prayer that you can say if you don't want to write your own prayer. So this is how it goes. Are you going to say it after me, Ruth? Yes, yes, yes! Okay. Father God. Father God. Help me to listen to you. Help me to listen to you. So that when things happen... So that when things happen... That make me scared or worried... That make me feel scared or worried... I can remember that you have promised to be with me. 
I can remember that you have promised to be with me. Thank you that you are bigger than any of my problems. Thank you that you are bigger than any of my problems. And for reminding me of your promises with a rainbow. And for reminding me of your promises with a rainbow. Amen. Amen. Brilliant. Well done, Ruth. So, Ruth, that's been really good, hasn't it? Praying together I again. I loved it. Children at home, I hope you've joined in with us as well. And I look forward to seeing you all next month with another prayer at home. Yeah, Bye for yeah, now. Yeah. Bye. 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 Guys, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I have absolutely loved finding more out about Noah. I have loved making the boat. And uh, I really enjoyed the song this morning too. I think that's going to stick in my head. Now, we have been looking at this book and we're going to carry on looking at this book every single month, all right? So we had Noah today and next month we are going to look at the story of Jonah and I'm so excited to tell you all about the amazing way that God is friends with Jonah too. And if he's friends with Noah and he's friends with Jonah, which we will find out, guess what? He's friends with you too. That is all from us today. Thank you so much for joining. We love you and miss you loads. Bye.